starts with the quintuples deck. We've added one additional step to last year's first obstacle. Competitors must leap through five angled steps to get to the landing platform without touching the water. Well, it started as a Japanese show, and the premise was they built the world's most difficult obstacle course, and then they said, come tackle it. And we started sending Americans there to tackle the course, and it became so popular uh, that we just decided to bring the course here. So it used to be in Tokyo, Mount Midoriyama, and now we build it in Las Vegas. This sport has become so popular, we have to turn away far more athletes than we invite. The popularity of this show, I, I think... In part, it stems from the reason people like sports, and that is, I think, any time you can watch humans pushing themselves to the absolute uh, edge of the envelope, we enjoy watching it. And certainly, that's the case with American Ninja Warrior. But I think it's it's the relatability. If you watch football or basketball, you can't picture yourself out there running around with six, seven, four hundred pound guys who run four seven forties. You just know I don't belong there. But with American Ninja Warrior, you see everyday people. You see garbage men, teachers, lawyers, milkmen, whatever. Milkmen does that even exist? anymore but you see everyday people who have families who aren't professional athletes who are doing this and i think for so many people they can identify with the struggles of these of these competitors much more so than any other sporting event American ever to defeat the ultimate cliffhanger. I, I like to think of this as the ultimate test of athleticism on the planet i think in terms of strength speed agility mental focus there's nothing else that can approximate the difficulty level that you experience at american ninja warrior Look at that. She flew through the quintuple steps. Yeah, that technique Brent Turner was right on. She's a good student. 